Haley out in here alongside Jeff Brightwell. Game one of the 2016 American Baseball Championship is in the books. Houston comes out on top 9-1. to one. Jeff, big pitching performance today from the freshman Trey Cumbie, a career-high nine strikeouts. As you mentioned, Trey Cumbie, he only allowed a couple of leadoff men the first six innings, went to work, never allowed Cincinnati to gain any momentum. As you mentioned, nine strikeouts, that's a career-high for Cumbie. He's thrown 12 and two-thirds against Cincinnati this year. He's only allowed the one run today. And what can you say about Nick Hernandez out of the bullpen? He comes in in a clutch situation, bases loaded, one out, strikes out back-to-back -back Bearcats to get out of the jam. Todd Whitting said they needed to get the bats going, get their offense going today. Nine runs isn't too bad, and they got those runs in a multitude of ways. Yeah, they got a lot of those late, but early on, maybe the play of the game came from Connor Hollis. He had the two-run bunt, early, and then he added a third RBI a little bit later. So he has a big day. They get a home run late. They open it up, and they cruise with that 9-1 win. The bonus of winning today is that you get a day of rest tomorrow. We'll see Houston back out on the field on Thursday. What can they use that day of rest for to help them prepare for the rest of this tournament? Well, they've got the preseason co-pitcher of the year in Seth Romero. Whether they use him or not Thursday, you don't know. They didn't have to go very deep into the bullpen, so the bullpen is rested as well. That's the bonus of playing in the Tuesday bracket, getting Wednesday off. Unfortunately for Cincinnati, they come right back tomorrow in an elimination game, either against UCF or Tulane. So Ty Neal's got some quick decisions to make. All right, thanks a lot, Jeff. We're getting ready for game two here at Bright House Field, the eight seed UCF versus the one seed Tulane. For the American Digital Network, I'm Healy Outen alongside Jeff Brightwell.